and back to another edition. Welcome back to another edition, I should say, of True Talk on the Couch. I'm your host, Ralph Cunningham, and you know we have got a wonderful show for you guys today. But before we get into the show, I must let you guys know you got to hit that subscribe, that notification bell, and you know what? Share this video. That'll make me feel so good. But before we get off into our show, I have got to introduce to you my main man, my middle, my ace, my brother, Ezra Cunningham, a.k.a. The Black Butterfly, a.k.a. The Blind Poet, if you didn't know it. How you feeling, bro? Doing pretty good. How about yourself, man? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing That's well. I see you sporting the Patriots. Oh, yes. Gronkowski. Definitely. Uh, you know. Pats Nation, mm -hmm. you know, congratulations to the Congratulations. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they really... Um, I don't say that they blew them out the water, but they won. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. And um, even though the Super Bowl was boring, very I'm going to say so. very boring. Very even halftime so. was boring, but um, Pats won. So yeah. big ups to you all. Kudos. Pats. Kudos. Pats Nation. And we looking forward to another one next year. Yep. All right. And I have got on my new TTOTC shirt. I hope y'all uh -huh. can see that. You know what I'm saying? You know. What's up? I've got a guy that's out there that's doing my shirts for me now. His name is, well, I ain't going to tell you what, what his name is. I don't want to throw his government all out there because he's probably watching. It's like, man, I can't believe you. But, you know, he, he made my new shirts for me, and uh, we appreciate that. You oh, know, yeah. So, uh, much love to you, bro. Much love to you, bro. Uh, I'll hit you up, and next time, I, you know, you can tell me the name of your company, and I'll give your company a huge shout-out. Yeah. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and make sure you pass this video along, baby, because we love that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get off into what's going on, man. It's a lot of stupidity going on. February has just kicked off. What is this, the 7th, 8th? 8th and America. we have got mm -hmm. so much stupidity that's going on in Black History Month. You know, they, they never fail to, to rear their stupidity during Black History Month. Right. And we have got some cases for you today. But before we get off into the dumb... St well, you know what? Let's just start off with dumb. Yeah. Okay, um, let's start off with the what? The Virginia governor? Yes. Who uh, put on shoe polish because he wanted to dress up like Michael Jackson. Yes, in um, 1984 at a, a... I guess like a... It was a dance contest or something yeah. like that. Ralph Northrum, I think his yeah. name is. Um, he's the gov governor of uh, Virginia right now. Um, no doubt you um, YouTubers have been um, hearing about this. Yeah, because it's all over it's, the news. Yeah, it's, it's actually everywhere. Um, he's in a, they have a picture um, from his yearbook of a person that's a Ku Klux Klan member who well, dressed up as one. And they also have one person that's dressed as blackface. Um, that's him. That's the yeah. one with the shoe polish. Well, yeah, that's the one he, you know, well, which he says that he don't, he don't think it's him. But I mean, from what I'm told, you know, it's pretty much how he, you know, described what he was wearing anyway in the dance contest. You know, in 1984 with the shoe polish mm -hmm. and the hair and everything else yeah. like that. Wasn't that fool just on um, dance about to dance in front of everybody? Oh yeah, I mean when um, when the time came for him actually to explain himself and to finally actually own up. First he said, like you said, he didn't he he did it. Yeah. Then he didn't do it. Yeah. Now he did it, and uh, I mean uh, make up your mind first off, and uh, then at the press conference, dude decided to look around when one of the reporters asked him. Could he still do the moonwalk? He was a, he was looking around to see if he had enough space so that he could show you guys that he could moonwalk. But the only thing that actually stopped that was his wife who slid in and was like, you know, hey, this is an inappropriate situation. And then he smiled and giggled. And my wife says, that's, a, that's an inappropriate situation. I mean, come on. For real, first off, let's discuss this blackface. Dude put on shoe polish. When has Michael Jackson ever been that black? Yeah. He put on black shoe, shoe polish. polish. When has Michael Jackson ever been that black? That. 
crispy. That that's that I, I've never seen anyone that black that's before in my life. Snipes. I, that, that's 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 what that is a mixture. Dude, I mean, what was really what's really what's really bad is when when white people do that. Regular white people do that. It, it's 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 awful. When you've got people that do that and they're supposed to be representing us, it's even, it, it just makes it even worse because that is a direct reflection on how white people view us black people. Mm -hmm. And that's what gives a lot of, that's what gives a lot of black people what I would consider a color complex. They're not satisfied with how beautiful their dark skin is. So they try to lighten themselves up, yeah. you know, because they're too dark, man. What, what, what you got to realize is that black people are beautiful, whatever color they are. And isn't it beautiful that black people are in a multitude of colors? Mm -hmm. We don't just come in white and that's it. We're in multitudes and different shades of black. And I can promise you, I have from sunshine all the way up to a very handsome, dark skinned young young man for my son. And I'm very proud of how beautiful all four of my boys look. Very, very beautiful. And it just really, it really just sends that, that, that anger to you because you're like, wow, you know, Th that's where a lot of black people get such a hard color complex from. They sure do. You know, and that's why they bleach in their skin. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the flip side of that is what is white people doing? They're tanning. They're tanning. For what? Why are you tanning? Remember, you, you, this, this is the black face. You, you know, the coolie, the coons. You don't want to look like fat. I'm quite for sure you don't. So why are you tanning to get yourself darker? It, it, it doesn't make sense. It also shows that they have a color complex, that they don't like their own color. Exactly. Which is really sad, too. And I'm not saying that all white people are like that, but you know what? Um, there are a lot of white people that do go tanning and oh, that they do them. take the pills yeah. or they'll sit up there and get the little spray thing and look like orange after a while. Exactly. And, and so you look like a carrot walking around here. And, and, that, and that's one man. of the things, you know, People aren't happy with their own skin color, whether you're white or black. And one thing I can't stand about black people when they're dark skinned is that they want to see who's, you know, there's another person that's the same color, but they're blacker than that person and they try to dog them out. I, I can't stand that when a dark skinned person does that. But, I, mean, I can't it, stand that when a light skinned person no, wants to sit up it, there and do the goes, same thing either. But it all goes back <clears throat> to what we're talking about, man. And, and, and it's. It's because they've put this on. This they, they've done this. This is what white folks have done, or racist white folks, I should say. I'll put it that way. Racist white people have done this. They have put this inferiority thing towards black people of darker shades. Like you, you're you're not smart, or you're definitely not beautiful. And please believe me, I love me some dark skinned women. I love me some light-skinned women. I love black women, period, okay? And your skin, your skin color, black males, black males, black females, be proud of your skin color because you're beautiful. And don't let anyone take that away from you. Whatever skin color you are, from whatever shade of black you are, from caramel to sunshine to dark skin, you're beautiful. It's a, it's a crispy midnight doesn't Dark, matter. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. And I don't even like really even, you know, considering our, you know, because that that's this, you know, that's another thing about how, you know, uh, white people would, would, uh, I guess describe black people as crispy. And now we didn't pick that up. We 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 picked that up and we dog each other out and we use the same things that white people use against us against our own people. We need to stop it. We need to stop it. You know, we, we, we really need to stop that. It's ridiculous. You know, we're beautiful. We're beautiful. And you know why we're so beautiful? You know how we could tell that we're beautiful? It's because everybody's trying to be like us. Everybody. Take that to the bank. Take that to the bank. Put Ralph Cunningham on the, uh, down at the bottom because he'll, he'll cash that. 
that's what that really is about. And then you got Gucci. Was it Gucci? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gucci comes out, of course, this month, Black History Month, with all white shoes that no, are no, made. No, 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 that, that's, no, that's Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, no, my bad. Gucci had the hoodie. Gucci like, had the, the turtleneck that goes yeah. all the way up to your nose with black face. Got the big old coolie lips. Red lips on, yeah, you making know. you look crazy. Okay, so where the hell was that a good idea? Where was that a good idea? I, I can't see that being a good idea. And I, it, it, what kills me is they let that pass and then want to write this little sorry excuse. Oh, we're sorry we didn't really mean to offend anybody. And if we offended some people, then we're really sorry about it. Because in no way, shape, form, or fashion were our intents were to, you know, we expect, we respect the black community. Right, for real though? For real though? For real? Come on, man. You don't respect nothing. Get out of here with that. Miss, uh, I, miss. You know, even with that, as you was going to mention about even Adidas, you know, Adidas also came out miss. with um, the all white shoes. All white shoes made out of pure cotton. Cotton. Um, <laughs> and this was for, um, this was actually, you know, a tribute to Black History Month. <laughs> That's what they said. For real. Stupid. Okay. Stupid. Uh, do I need to say any more on that? I mean, what part of that has anything to do with black history? Other than black folks out there picking in cotton. the hot heat in the summer picking cotton. That's what that got to do with it. Slavery. And, and of course... They didn't mean to offend anybody either. And they're going to make this a learning yeah, point. Yeah, and the, yeah, I and, mean, come you know, on. It's a, it's, this is a learning lesson for them. Who, That's what Gucci said. That's what Adidas said. Who you know? in the world came up with this idea, passed this along, and everybody in the office gave these two products their stamp of approval and said, yes. That's a good idea. Let's push this. I mean, because you know, you know, a person who made this didn't just be like, all right, I made this and this is what we're going to do. This wasn't average Joe Blow out there on the strip. No, this was a team of people who came up with this idea and they had to pass this along <coughs> and pass this along. And then come up with the fact that, okay, yeah, we're going to get approval for this, and this is something that we should do. Mm -hmm. So it starts at the bottom and goes to the top where it's getting approved. And everybody thought that it was an A-OK -okay idea to put this out on the market. And I guess they figured it was going to be a big hit. <laughs> where was that not insensitive in any way, shape, form, or fashion? And you know what's so funny is they knew it was insensitive. They knew they knew it was insensitive because all of a sudden they had a quick retort, one real quick, mm -hmm. so they could throw that out there. Be like, ah, hey, all right, we sorry, we didn't mean to. Well, that's all you can do now. Yeah. You know, just say you sorry. Yeah. You know, sorry. You know, and that's it. There's there's nothing else that can be done. It's you know, and if it's really severe, what they do is they'll put some money to some sort of black charity and then you know it'll be all good after that but, but it, if it doesn't go too far you just get a sorry you but know, you know what they'll do when it comes to even the black charities dude it's a black charity that somewhere or another has their stamp in it. It, it they have something to do with it so it's really like them taking money out of their right hand their right pocket and putting it in their left pocket mm -hmm. you know they'll never give to like, you know, the street, mm -hmm. you know, they'll never do that. Or what they will do is give you 10% off of some, some Adidas uh, clothing line. Awesome <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, but it, it's never, it's never real charity. And it's really not even heartfelt. It's really mm -hmm. just like, oh, well, we got caught with this one. So let me just get him some money so they can be quiet. So when is black money. people going to start actually taking this stuff seriously and being like, you know what? Enough is really enough. Stop. Stop purchasing this stuff. 
stop going on these videos with all these dumb rappers talking about they wearing Gucci this and Gucci that and Gucci Gucci. Gucci don't care about you. Look at what they putting out. And apparently Adidas don't care about you either. Look at what look at the shoes. Look, th dude, this is retarded. This is so insensitive in every way. But you know what? They would not do this for they would not do this to gay people. Not one bit. But they'll do it for blacks. They'll do this to black people, but you won't see them coming out with anything like that that's going to be offensive to gay people because they're the ones who's running all of this mess anyway. And they figure they can just get away with it. And black people and those who aren't black who don't agree with all this racial stuff, you guys are still out there purchasing this stuff. You're still out there not, you know, shutting these people down like, like we should. I mean, it's time to, it's time for these people to really start giving back to the community. They ain't they took so much. It's time for them to start getting back. But y'all ain't listening. You're not. You really need to. You really need to. We all need to really come together and shut these people down because they don't care about you. What else did you want to talk about, bro? Um, I guess on a lighter note, but still serious and ridiculous. Um, Philip. Lee. That's right, I said it. Philip Lee from Louisiana. Stick up kid. Needed some money. He decided that he was going to rob Popeye's chicken. He got in there with the gun, couldn't open up the register. So what he decided to do was to steal some chicken. Yes, we don't know if it was an eight piece or 10 piece. We don't know if it was spicy, uh, extra crispy. That's, um, we're still looking forward to knowing what kind it was. But um, he stole chicken and left. Uh, a couple hours afterwards, they found him and put him in jail. I guess he was really hungry. And hey, if I can't get the money, I am going to get the chicken. Do you think he was going to eat that chicken or do you think he was he probably, probably going to sell it? He probably did eat the chicken. He probably did eat some of it. Think he gave some to his family? Guess, think he shared I mean, it? I, I guess. I, could, I can only imagine. I wonder, did he get like a three-piece with like a biscuit? I mean, it really doesn't say, like I said, you know, about, you know, was it extra crispy? Uh, you know, I like Popeyes and especially they red beans and rice. Big ups to Popeyes. I, I love it. I wonder, did he get that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, man. I, that, that beats me. It really beats me. I mean, uh, chicken, huh? Just, chicken. just just decided to steal some chicken. Couldn't get to the cash register. Well, you know, um, I guess the, the burning question that we all must have is, uh, is, is he black or is he white? He's black. He is black. Yes. Okay. Well, at least I think he is. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think he is. Enough said. We just love our chicken. Yeah. We are predisposed of eating chicken all the time. Uh, foolishness. Foolishness. Talk about more foolishness, and you know, there's a, a teacher here in uh, Indiana because we're from Bloomington. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not from Bloomington, but we're in Bloomington, Indiana. Yeah. Um, this teacher here in Indiana decided to put on blackface as well, and um, I guess the administration asked him to. They they asked him to step down, and. Uh, you know, they were going to use him on call as a substitute teacher, but they wanted him to stop. I think he was a teacher for the track team, and he decided, no, he'll just quit. And uh, they've got people right now that are, you know, battling for this guy because they feel like he shouldn't be fired 
for what he has done. Mm-hmm. This is in Brown County, right? Yeah, it's in Brown County. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it just goes to show you, you know, racism. It, you know, if anybody says that they think that racism isn't alive, up and well, in a in a, in a well-oiled machine, that they're, they're they're a fool. They're a fool. Um, the the governor, he don't even want to step down. No. He, he don't even want to step down. He wants people to give him another try. You know, and he's you got, know, uh, what is it? He's got a, there's a black guy that is supposed to be up under him. So if he steps down, it'd be a black governor. Yeah. They asked him whether or not he feels that the governor should step down. And he's like, he doesn't think that the guy is racist. He didn't say whether or not the governor should step down. He actually said, you know, the ball's basically like in his court or whatever, and he knows what he should do. But, um, I mean, I guess, you know, people can change, right? Yeah. Speaking of that, we also got something else to talk about, too, with Liam Nelson. Um, you all may know him from the movie Taken. One, as well two, as and in, three. Um, yeah, as well <laughs> as uh, Star Wars, uh, Phantom Menace. Mm-hmm. He was quite on, I could never say his name, right? but he died in the, the first uh, Phantom Menace thing. He, mm-hmm. he got killed by Darth Maul. Um, he's actually, um, was promoting a movie that's coming out and they was asking him, well, where did he get his muse from? And he mentioned a, um, a situation that happened about 40 years ago where, um, he was, um, talking to a female friend of his, a very good friend of his, um, that, um, said that she was actually raped. Um, she took care of the situation quite well from what he said but um he was really upset of course you can understand that and he you know asked her you know you know what did this person you know do you know the person and she was like no and he was like well what race is a person you know right along with other questions and she said that he was black so that mustered a lot of rage in him to where in Ireland he was going to the black communities, walking through there as well as black pubs, looking for this black bastard, as was mentioned. Um, wow, black bastard. Yes, that's what he said. He was looking for anyone that was black that may want to give him any type of hassle so that he could uh, end up killing him. And he said he did this for like probably about five times pretty much a week and he was just going up and down to black pubs that's in ireland i didn't even know that there was a black community in ireland that just mm-hmm. i mean no doubt there probably is you know like everywhere there is pretty much but i just didn't think that you know i guess i'm just naive but um he did this for like pretty much five days straight just just because he was just so upset with what happened and he said from that you know he had to stop and really think about what he was doing you know how bad it was in his head and he had to get counseling from a priest and he talked to two of his best friends about the situation and he's not a racist person because this was over like four decades ago um and you know he he it's a learning experience for him and and the way that he talks about it, it, to me, it seems like he still has that problem in his head. But he uses that as a muse 40 years ago, but he's not racist. To me, something about that just isn't clicking. Like he reached back into that tapped anger that he had before and brought it back out. Why didn't the priest tell him to just let it go and why didn't he listen? Well, because why would you keep bringing that up? That isn't going to do nothing but fester more anger. Did not the, the lady tell him that, hey, she had handled things? But this is something that he eventually wanted to do. Himself. So yeah. this was some type of anger that he had in him. And, and he said, you know, at this time, when this was going on, this was during the time of, you know, civil unrest with Ireland because of Northern Ireland and everything, as well as the Catholics and Protestants. You know, they were bombing like Catholic pubs and 
then the, you know the Protestants will you know I mean the Catholics will bomb the the Protestant pubs and it would just go back and forth with all the types of killing and mayhem that was going on through there which was a bad time it, it really was if you really look up you know that situation it was it really it, it definitely was and he said that he was never a part of it but yet and still here we are 2019 let it go you know your friend at that time told you because no doubt she considered you a confidant you know she wanted to no doubt vent to you about it but she said that she handled it in her own way so in other words she handled it and no doubt she had to let it go hopefully that whatever she went through with that situation she did handle it you know there's nothing there's nothing funny about rape or anything like that not at all you know and my heart goes out to any female that gets raped it's it's male or female actually you know that that's something that you know is a violation and it can it can mess you up mentally but like i said for her to let it go but you to keep it in you to me, that just sounds like you are still holding on to some certain type of racism. You're, you're still racist there. You know, and like I said, if y'all could find that interview where he talked, you know, he sound like it. Mm -hmm. The way he was saying it, you know, mm -hmm. black bastard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I get you. It, 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 this ain't you the first time he said it. that. You, you know, he got a lot of it in him still. I mean, it, you know... You know, I, I I wouldn't. I don't know the man personally. Uh, I um, I like some of his movies um, that he played in, but I don't actually know him personally. I you know the way you describe it, it sounds like he could still have a lot of that. You know, and like I said, you know, hey, uh, people they say they can change, and people say they do change, and those aren't the feelings that they had before. You know. <clears throat> that they had, you know, they had those feelings then, they don't have those feelings now, and, you know, and I mean, hey, it may be the truth. Um, mm -hmm. I just think that, you know, first and foremost, when they always want people, they always want people of color to own it. You know, they want you to own it. If there's something that you did wrong, they, they, they're they on you about owning it. You know, we can't just dance around the subject. We have to own it. Mm -hmm. You know, if we don't own it outright, our own people will jump on us way before the white people will. Sure will. You know, and, and that's one thing that we have to really not do. You know, but our own people will jump on us before white folks will. But... <clears throat> They want us to own it. So why is it that they can't just own it? Just own it outright. Don't dance around it. Don't say I did and I didn't. Well, it is me, but it ain't me. Well, I said this, but I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's always dancing around the subject and then they throw something else out there to get your mind off of that. And like the happy slave, we're so quickly to condemn our own people before we can condemn anybody else. And it's really just ridiculous, you know. Um, I mean, just 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 case in point, you know, with uh, with dude that's Twenty One Savage guy, you know. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people on YouTube dogging him out because he's from London. Well, I mean, so. I mean, they're dogging him out because he was here illegally. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> they're dogging him out because, a uh, quote unquote, they didn't think he was a thug when dude was known as a stick up kid all around Atlanta. And, you know, also he doesn't have an accent. So, so what? So what he doesn't have an accent? I mean, he's been over here, so what they say, since he was six years old. Dude is how old now? You think he's going to still keep that accent? 
Especially living in the South. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, you got to think about it. Think about our own people. Think about Tina Turner for one. Where is she? Where is she born? Where was she born? Right here in the United States. In the South, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She went over there to London or Australia or wherever it was and came back and has the hardest English accent that you've ever heard on a black female. Her accent is harder than the people that are originally there, that were raised and born there. Mm -hmm. Very true. Come on, Tina Turner? Black Tina Turner that was born and raised here in the United States in the South went over there and got an accent. Same thing with Madonna. Yeah. Madonna's from Michigan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't hear nobody saying nothing about that. Come on, guys. Get off of it. And as far as do, that's a setup. Y'all need to really look at that. Because Ice was there to pick him up. They were on the bus. They were there. They weren't even there for him. They were supposed to, quote, unquote, they weren't there for him. They were supposed to have been looking at another rapper, but Ice was there Just as so well. Just so happened there. to be there. What a coincidence. Hmm. It's funny, they don't ever talk about the other rapper that no, was in the car. Don't even know who he is. <clears throat> and that's who they were actually looking for. Yeah. They don't even know who he is. They, well, they know, but they haven't said anything. I don't know who the guy is. I, they I haven't said they're going to say either. No, because say. evidently, dude was supposed to do something. 21 was supposed to do something, and he didn't do it fast enough or... Or, or at all. At all. And they giving him another warning, for real, for real. Yeah. Like, okay. And you I mean, must think he play pimping. Well, what's so funny is the fact that they, you know, it's not like they didn't have this information. Yeah. Long time ago. They sure did. This guy ain't been in hiding. It's not like he's, you know, like hiding. Mm -hmm. This is a multi platinum superstar. He's an artist. Mm -hmm. You can go into any store <laughs> and buy his album. Yeah. He's all on the internet. And you mean to tell me they act like like he was hiding from somebody. He wasn't hiding. He wasn't running. He, come on. You know, come on, black people. Filter that. Filter that. He wasn't hiding from anyone. He was out in the public eye, making music on stage, doing tours, doing concerts, you know, on, on TV, making videos. Come on, man. Filter that. Mm -hmm. Filter that. Really don't. They want you to believe what they want you to believe. But you guys got common sense to really filter that stuff and really look at it and be like, okay, wait a minute. Something about that really just doesn't make too much sense. And if you think about it, none of it makes sense. What you think about it, man? <clears throat> like I said, you know, I hope people will look at it that way and see that it is kind of, you know, like I said, odd. It's, it's odd how, you know, ICE is just right there. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just odd, you know, him being from the UK. And that's what they want to, you know, just have old man. He's from the UK and his mm -hmm. dad is, is very wealthy and he's a doctor and this and this and that. Well, you know, I guess because your daddy's a doctor doesn't mean you, you, you can't be a thug. Of course that can't happen that doesn't make sense yeah. you know I'm like I know a lot of people that come from rich families that are just hardened criminals that are in prison right now I mean really so what what a, what what does that what does that have to do with anything because of what his dad is doing it doesn't mean that he's doing it what I eat will not make you fat so whatever his dad is doing doesn't mean that that's him. They're two different people. Mm -hmm. And obviously they live in two different lives. He's over there still in that suburb part of UK. You know, a celebrity doctor, 
Rich and whatever else, and 21 Savage, which I don't know all of what's going on with him in his life, was in the six. Atlanta. Down in Atlanta, you know, doing him. You know what I'm saying? You know, getting shot, shooting at people, whatever he was doing. Hanging with bloods, being a blood, doing all these things. So, you know, there's two different lives regardless. Yeah. You know, and, you know, they're, 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 they're trying to just pinpoint any and everything that they can instead of you getting the real meat anyway oh, yeah, of, of why of, they yeah, picked this dude why up. he picked him up. Yeah, because yeah, that doesn't make sense. Don't none of this actually make any sense on why they picked this dude up. He's been here since 2006. Here it is, 2019. This dude oh. that made music. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He, yeah. He, he, he made He's all this known. music. Yeah. And it, it, then his, his visa or whatever was, what, expired in 06? I think a year after. Yeah. I think it was, but he just, um, he he um filed for another one about, I think, two years ago. I Come think on. that's what it was. He filed for another one about two this, years they, ago. So they he's, knew all you know, of this. waiting to get one. They knew all of this. Mm-hmm. Don't don't be stupid and think that they don't know everything there is to know about you, especially somebody as well known as this guy in mm -hmm. the music game making all of this money. It was something dude was supposed to have done. Mm -hmm. It was something they wanted him to do, and he didn't do it. And they're mad at him, and they're trying to give him. They're trying to let him know, hey, you better do what you need to do. <laughs> Interesting enough, not to cut you off, bro. No, you could. But um, guess who's coming to save the day for him? Jay Z. I was about to say Suge Knight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z, Jay -Z no. is actually putting up money for him to get out. Just think about that if you really understand. Okay, so how much money from. is it that they're trying to bet for for bond? They trying uh, to break? Uh, from what it sounds like, it must be a lot. You know what I'm saying? They trying to break. It's something he was supposed to have done. Well, it's something he was supposed to have done. Maybe when Jay Z gets him out and everything, Jay Z can talk to him about what he was supposed to do. Yeah, and he'll end up doing it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you so keep your eyes on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was just about to say, what do you think, YouTube? You yeah. know, let us let us know what your thoughts is. You know, I mean, once again, Crazy. you know, are we conspiracy theorists? Are you know, we're just looking too deep into something, making a mountain out of a molehill, or are we crazy and all that riffraff, you know? Let us know. What do you think? Yeah. You know, what's your personal opinion on it? You know, once again, we're giving you ours. And that's what the thing is with True Talk, you know what I'm saying? We want opinions, you know what I'm saying? We want to know what you're thinking about because we're letting you know what we're thinking about. Yeah. You know, so let us know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's how I feel about it, though. Yeah. It's just something he was supposed to have done. Mm -hmm. And now Jay-Z is going to put him straight on it. Mm -hmm. So he'll end up doing whatever it is that he's supposed to do or... Maybe it just go back to the UK, but mm -hmm. I or doubt. Maybe, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I truly doubt that. Because I don't see why, after all this time, they're, they're now picking him up, and and you know it has to. They have to, and you have to think about this too. They know that this guy has money, mm -hmm. so what they're what they're doing is making sure that whatever money he got, they're gonna set it at a price in which they know he can't afford to get out. Mm -hmm. Because anybody else, man, come on, they wouldn't have said it so high. No. Anybody else, they wouldn't have cared. I mean, think about how many people <clears throat> that get picked up on a daily basis, they get sent across the border, and then they're back here in the States. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't know, man. But it is what it is. Black people, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Everything ain't always what it seems to be. Everything ain't always what it what they want you to believe. And we are really smart enough to not just fall for everything that they throw in our face. We got to be. 
We really got to be. That's people in general, not just black people. People in general, yeah. wake up. Yeah, we all need to wake, wake up, up. No matter what color you are. Exactly. Please wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Look at this stuff. Find out what's going on because a lot of this stuff don't make sense. And if it can happen to a person like that, guess who else it can happen to? Mm hmm. You too. Mm -hmm. Well, anything else you want to talk about, bro? Um, not at this moment. Uh, not at this moment. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm done for now. Well, <laughs> pretty soon, everybody, True Talk on the Couch will be going live every show, and it'll be on every Wednesday. We'll be taping, well, not taping anymore. We'll be going direct to you live. Um, so be prepared and look for that. Um, more shows will be coming up really soon. We'll have uh, guest spots, people sitting in here talking to us. We're also, once it starts warming up a little bit, because <laughs> it's really cold here, yeah. uh, we'll be going out talking to people. Uh, what's up to IU? Um, yeah. Everybody here in Bloomington, mm -hmm. want to thank you guys. And uh, like I always say, it can only get better from here. Peace, YouTube. Till next time, YouTube.